my name is Jane Havren from supervisionskills.co.uk and welcome to the third of my seven tips for stress-free supervision. Now this one is about creating an equal relationship between you and your supervisee. Now in any hierarchical organisation like a social work department, like a care sector organisation, it's inevitable that there's a bit of us and them between managers and supervisees. However, for your supervision to work really well, you need to try and minimise that as much as possible. And I think there is some really useful information about this within transactional analysis. As you'll know, TA, transactional analysis, is a set of psychological models about personality and communication. And one of the key concepts within that is I'm okay and you're okay. Now if you can encourage this kind of relationship between yourself and your supervisee, that they have as much to teach you as you have to teach them, you have as much to learn from them as they have to learn from you, then you can create a relationship in which there's respect on both sides and that even though some of your supervisees' behaviour and the way they deal with their clients may not be exactly what you want it to be at the very start, because you respect and accept them as a person, you're not judging them. You're just enabling them to learn how to do their jobs better, how to become more competent and ultimately how to become excellent at what they do. What's important about this is that they're okay and you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. If you, if you can encourage that in your supervision, it will go much better every time. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.